Hey everyone, John from My Solar Home, and today's a big one. We're diving head to head, a face off between two top residential energy storage systems the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the brand new Franklin A Power 2. We're doing a true apples to apples comparison. We have one Tesla Powerwall 3 versus one Franklin A Power 2. We'll cover physical dimensions, installed components, storage capacity, power output backup performance, expansion options, warranties, price, and real-world backup reliability. By the end, you'll know exactly which battery suits your home and your goals. Make sure to stick around. I've built this as a complete story with clear takeaways. If you're searching for Tesla Powerwall 3 or Franklin A Power 2 on YouTube or Google, you're in the right place. Let's meet Anna. She will help us put the sizes in perspective. Anna is five foot six inches tall and she will help you size up both the batteries. And why? Because physical size matters, especially if you're tight on space or planning future expansions. So the Tesla Powerwall 3's dimensions are height 43.5 inches, width of 24 inches and 7.6 inches slim. The Franklin A Power 2 is 45.2 inches tall, 29.5 inches wide, and it's 11.8 inches slim. So the Franklin is noticeably taller, wider, and deeper. Yes, it's bulkier, but remember, it also packs more stored energy. Pro tip, if you're stacking multiple units, consider floor mounting to create a clean, space-efficient row of batteries. Wall mounting your batteries requires way more space. So what comes with the install? Now, this isn't just a battery. Both the systems will include an essential gateway for backup and safety. And let's break down what you actually mount on your wall. A Tesla Powerwall 3 install, you'll either get the backup switch. Now, this is a sleek meter collar for grid isolation. It's perfect for full home backup with minimal space or you'll have to go for the Gateway 3, 26 inches into 16 into 6. It offers islanding, grid, and backup functions. The limitations are snap, generator hookup. Also, no smart circuit control. You'll have to manually turn off those heavy loads if needed. The Franklin A Power 2 includes the A-Gate module, 31.5 into 21.7 into 6.3, which handles backup, switching, smart load shedding, generator connectivity, and even EV charging integration. So if you're looking at Tesla, it's compact, clean looking, but it's a little limited in flexibility. The Franklin is larger, but it offers more flexibility, gives you control and convenience. Let's talk storage, energy capacity, and output. The Tesla Powerwall 3 has 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable energy. Its power output is high enough to run large loads like a 5 ton AC. The Franklin A Power 2 with 15 kWh of usable energy has equally strong power, enough to start heavy motors or that 5 ton AC without breaking a sweat. Franklin does hold more energy with 15 kWh, and so if your goal is extended backup, you'll probably like the Franklin better. You can go through a whole night of usage without adding a battery, an extra battery. Now, while seeing batteries, remember energy kilowatt hours is how long it will power your home and power KW is how many devices it can run simultaneously. Let's look at backup and real world reliability. Let's say the lights go out at night and it's time to watch your favorite show. Here's how each system handles an actual blackout scenario. The Tesla Powerwall 3 can run your house through power cuts for days when it's, when it's paired with solar panels. Be careful in winter. Shorter days may drain the battery overnight. Now, if it drops to zero, you may need a technician to restart it. It's called a black start. Unless your installer has enabled this feature. It's new in the Tesla. I didn't have it before. It doesn't support automated load shedding. You will have to manually switch up large loads. The Franklin A Power 2 is also reliable from multi-day backup with solar. It has automatic black start 
and it will self boot even if the battery is totally drained as long as the sun comes out. The AGATE smart circuit allows you to program load shedding for heavy appliances via the app, keeping your backup smarter and longer lasting. A real life tip, always power your essential circuits, lights, fridge, internet from the battery. Using larger loads like your AC or EV charger, use them sparingly unless you really expand your system with additional batteries. What about scaling up for the future? Maybe you want more batteries later. Let's look at expansion. The Tesla Powerwall 3, you can add up to three expansion only packs. They just increase the storage, the energy without increasing the power. Or you could add extra full power walls, which add both energy and power. You can add up to four extra batteries with three expansion packs for each of them. So that's a total of 46 kW of power and 216 kilowatt hours of storage. The Franklin A Power 2 is stackable to 15 units, 150 kW of power and 225 kilowatt hours of storage. Each new unit duplicates both power and energy. Bottom line, the Tesla lets you scale energy separately from power. It's great for backing up heavy homes. Franklin expands both energy and power together. It's ideal if you're growing your EV fleet or home consumption is really huge. Let's look at generator support next. During storm season and longer power outages, a generator might really be of help. The Franklin A Power 2 supports seamless generator integration through the A gate. It's excellent for continuous backup without solar support. Tesla Powerwall 3 has no built-in generator support. You'll need a manual workaround or external switches. For off-grid readiness, Franklin wins on generator compatibility. Let's look at warranty and long-term support. The Tesla Powerwall 3 has a 10-year warranty with 70% capacity retention. The Franklin A Power 2 has a stronger 15-year warranty. The Tesla inverter also covers solar, but the inverter warranty is again only 10 years. In Franklin system, the solar has got separate warranties for its own inverters. The battery warranty only covers the battery and its own inverter. With 15 years, the battery gets longer term support. In terms of support, Franklin has entire US-based support. It's got good reviews. Tesla has become highly online it, it looks like it's having some support problems let's look at prices the tesla powerwall 2 install is between 12 to 14000 the franklin is between 14 to 16000 the franklin costs a bit more but it does include generator support smart circuit control self start features and a longer warranty plus slightly extra energy meaning higher value over the long haul so what user requirements are best handled by these two titans now for a compact install with the lowest cost, go for the Tesla full backup control. But if you're looking for a generator and smart load management, the Franklin might be your choice. In terms of long-term warranty and reliability, the Franklin has a slight edge. For storage only, the Tesla expansion packs makes it simpler. So here are some typical real world installation guidelines. You know, urban homes with space constraints, Tesla smaller footprint and lower price might be your best choice. For bigger homes or rural homes with severe weather events, the Franklin generator hookup and auto restart, they're really a game changer. Growing EV owners or battery hungry households, Franklin probably scales power and energy more effectively with their app based controls. There you have it, a full breakdown. The Tesla Powerwall 3 versus the Franklin A Power 2. Each has its strengths. Tesla, sleek install affordability. Franklin, smart power, backup reliability, long-term confidence. If you want help choosing, I can offer free quotes and personal recommendations. Message me below. My details are in the description. Also, you might like my earlier video where I compare the end phase, the point guard, with the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the Franklin A Power 2. If you like this video, do hit the like and subscribe and ring that bell.
for more solar battery advice. See you in the next one.